Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's Friday! Yay! So, I'm very excited and <laughs> I will show you some things. But first, I'm going to show you my stitch marker of the day. This is my 15th and final stitch marker in my fall color set from Miss Ellie Leva. I got a message and the Halloween set is incoming, so we'll get to start opening that soon. As soon as it arrives, we'll start opening it. Oh, this is so cute! Oh, okay, so this is adorable. It's a it's a multifaceted one. So it's got the letter beads and it says fall, and then there's like a I should know what dice this is. It's an eight-sided dice. <laughs> And it's not a dice, but <laughs> it would be an eight-sided die if we had dice for some reason. <laughs> and a little charm that says made with love. This is absolutely adorable. Look at how cute that is. It's going to want to jingle jangle. But this is absolutely adorable. And what a fun one to end the set on. So I am going to put this on my stitch marker. <laughs> Older. And for those of you wondering, don't worry, I will get Bingo her sunflower, although she has since discovered there is a second sunflower and the leaf that she's trying to claim. So I don't know, maybe I'll make her a charm bracelet or something? I don't know. She doesn't wear, well she has like play necklaces but she doesn't wear like real necklaces or anything, but she does have a number of um, little girl bracelets. So maybe I'll do something like that. I don't know, but she will get a stitch marker. Don't worry. Ellie also clued me in on something she's trying to test out and I am very excited for it. So when Ellie works that out, I will of course share that as well. But we are not here for stitch markers. We are here for Fridays with Fred. Yay! Confetti cannon confetti. Awesome! Yeah! So, what are Fridays with Fred? I bought this book. It is Knitting the Neighborhood. It is the official knitting patterns of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And I would like to work through all of the patterns. You are joining me on this journey, should you choose to. <laughs> and on Fridays, I share where I'm at on whatever project I'm working on. So we are doing the first project still. It's, there was a vote and we voted on the beginnings cardigan. It is a sweater designed by Carla Patrick and we are working through it. I am making it for my husband, Brian. I am using, um, Hayfield bonus Aaron Tweed. It took me a minute to bring it back out of the memory banks. Um, colorway is chestnut. I got it from the wool warehouse. A couple other places carry it. And right now, you might be expecting me to hold up a sleeve to show you my progress. I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna hold up a sweater! Look at this! Okay, so, I got the sleeve done. I got the sleeve done. I got it all sewn together. And I've got, so far, my ends woven in. Here it is on me. Don't worry, it's not done yet. You will see Brian in the final project product. But here we have the bulk of the sweater completed. Look at that. So what I have left is you separately make the shawl collar and you sew it on. So I am just a just a touch over half done with the shawl collar. So here it is. It's just a two by two rib. And then I'm going to sew it on and then I still have to install the zipper. So there is a very, very good chance that next week you will be looking at a completed cardigan and the end of a long journey. <laughs> this feels like it's taken a while, but you know, I'm not, knitting goes slower. Knitting goes much slower and it so those are what the sleeves ended up looking like with that ribbing detail. It's just a little ribbing just to give it a little zhuzh. And there you go. So 
like I said, it's kind of a raglan construction. Oh, I didn't get, I thought I got it all sewn in. I didn't. <laughs> That's okay. I've still got time. And then I didn't do any of these ends yet because I'm not to installing the zipper yet. We'll get it all cleaned up when it's time to call it done, right? But look, we have, I mean, you could wear it like this if you wanted. It's just not done as per the pattern. We're going to take this all the way to pattern completion. But yeah, I am so excited. I'm so excited. So yep, just working through the shawl collar part and then a little more sewing. I am following the steps in the pattern. So the pattern said finish the sleeves and slow, sew all that together. So I did. I thought about just sewing the shawl collar and just, or it's not sewing, knitting the shawl collar just so I had all of the pieces. But the sewing together of the big seams is an effort. So I just wanted to get that under my belt before I went ahead and made the shawl collar. And plus I could kind of see how big the neck is and make sure the collar's working out. So that was my rationale. Everything's coming up roses so far. So yay! I, I am beyond thrilled. And very soon we will be voting on the second project from this book. Um, I'm gonna, I will nominate four or I think four. I'm not gonna nominate a sweater. So it'll be one from the toys, one blanket, one accessory. Toys, blankets, accessories. What's the other one? Oh, let's just look at the table of contents. Sweaters, toys. Oh, the puppets are a separate category from toys. That's what I wasn't realizing. So I'll nominate a puppet, an accessory, a toy, and a blanket. And you guys will direct me where I should be going next. And then we'll pick out the yarn and get going. It's exciting. Oh, um, I am using my Chowgu interchangeable needle set on this project. And the bag is a whisk tote bag that I won from D at D's Creative Hands. Very nice. Um, yeah, I think that's everything on the... This is how much of the second ball I have left of the Hayfield uh, bonus Aaron Tweed. There's the label. If you want to see, it's getting pretty floppy. But yeah, I am... I'm excited. Okay, now, well, okay, I better figure this out before I shove it back in the bank. I will figure this out, and I will talk to you later. 